So the song it starts with this intro section, and this intro section it goes something like this. I'll give you a preview first, okay? So the intro section sounds this. Just like that, okay? So let's go ahead and learn how to play this intro section. Okay, so let's start off. So the right hand for the intro section, the first part goes like this. So that's on the D, next to middle C, so D, so D, up to A, G, A, and then A, G, A, and then A, G, A, G, F, D, C. Just like that, that's the first part of the intro. Let's do it again. So right hand goes like this. So it goes D up to A, G, A, A, G, A, A, G, A, G, F, D, C. That's the right hand for the first part of this intro, okay? The left hand, we have four chords for this first part. The four chords are D minor, which is D, F, A, followed by A minor, which is A, C, E. And the third chord is B flat major, which is B flat D, F, and G minor, which is G, B flat D. Okay, so remember these four chords, because these four chords appear quite a few times in this song, okay? But yeah, anyway, let's do it again. So, one more time, the four chords are D minor, A minor, B flat major, and G minor. Okay, with these four chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this. It goes D and D minor together, so it's like together. After the A, A minor by itself. Right hand comes back in. After the A, B flat major by itself. G and G minor together. Like that, okay? So, one more time for this first part of this intro, it goes like this. Together. Here. Here. Together. Like that, okay. So it's continuous, as you can see. The left hand flows into the right hand and stuff, okay. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the second and last part of this intro section. Okay, so the right hand for the second part is similar to the first half of the first part. So it goes D A G A A G A, and after that, it's different. Okay, now it goes down to F three times, one, two, three, and then G four times, one, two, three, four, like that. Okay, just like that for the right hand. One more time. So it goes like this. It goes D, A, G, A, A, G, A, and then F, 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 G, 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 G. Okay, that's the right hand for the second part. All right, so left hand for the second part, we have four chords. Four chords really similar to the first part, just the last chord is different. Instead of G minor, it's C major, okay? So the first three chords are the same. It's D minor, D, F, A, A minor, A, C, E. Third chord is B flat major, B flat D, F, so these three chords are the same, and then the fourth chord is different, C major, which is C, E, G. Okay, with these four chords in mind, so D minor, A minor, B flat major, and C major, let's go ahead and put the two hands together for the second part of this intro, okay? So it goes D and D minor together, so it's like together, after the A, A minor by itself, after the A, B flat major by itself, and G and C major together. It one more time, so it goes together. Here, here, together. Just like that, okay? So that's the intro section done, okay? So, anyway, after the intro section, it goes to this instrumental section, uh, which is this particular motive phrase played two times, okay? So, the instrumental section uh, comes back in the um, last part of the song, but anyway, we have to remember how to play this as well. But anyway, I'll give you a preview of what this instrumental section sounds like. It goes like this. See, it's a phrase repeated for two times, and that makes up the instrumental section. But anyway, let's go ahead and learn this instrumental section. So, uh, all we need to do is learn the two parts of it because it's a repeat for uh, the third and fourth part is a repeat of first and second part. But anyway, so the first part, right hand goes like this. So on an F, so it goes F D F. Same thing again, F D F, and same thing again, F D F, and then G A G F. Okay, so that's the right hand for the first part of this instrumental section. One more time, so it goes like this. F, D, F, second time, F, D, F, third time, F, D, F, G, A, G, F. Just like that, pretty simple, okay? 
pretty nice pattern to learn as well. But anyway, that's the right hand for the first part of this instrumental section. The left hand, we have the same four chords as the first part of the intro section, okay? So you know it already, so it's D minor, D F A, A minor, which is A C E, and B flat major, which is B flat D F, and G minor, which is G B flat D. So these four chords you should know already because it's the same four chords as the intro. But anyway, with those four chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this. So it goes D minor by itself, right hand comes in, after F, A minor by itself, after F, B flat major by itself, G and G minor together, one more time, so it goes like this. Here, here, here. Together. Just like that, all right? So, yeah, that's the first part of this instrumental section. Moving on to the second part of the instrumental section. It goes like this, right hand, similar. It goes F, D, F, F, D, F, and then F, D, F up to A, and then B flat, C. Okay, so that's the second part of the instrumental. One more time for the right hand, so it goes F, D, F for three times, second, third, A, B flat, C. Just like that for the right hand. Okay, so that's the right hand. The left hand, we have the same four chords as before. So just D minor, A minor, B flat major, and G minor that you know already, okay? So with these four chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this. So it goes D minor by itself, right hand comes in, A minor by itself, B flat major by itself, G minor together, just like that, okay, so that's the second part, one more time for the second part, so it goes here, 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 together, just like that, and that's the second part, alright, so after the second part, as I said before, the third and fourth part is actually respectively the same as the first and second part that we've just learned, okay, so the third and fourth part just goes like this. Okay, so that's the instrumental section. It's just the phrase, the first and second part, repeated two times, making up the third and fourth part. But anyway, that's the instrumental section. After the instrumental section, the song um, goes into the verse.